Hello everybody, today we are making a dish from Hungary, Zegedin Gulasch, a dish that's also popular in Germany, probably due to the use of a typical German ingredient. It is pretty easy to make, I also think it's pretty healthy, but also has a very unique flavor, something that you don't eat every day. So welcome to Linda's Home Kitchen and let's start cooking. First we're going to prepare our pork shoulder. We have about three pounds. It's a pretty lean cut as you can see. We had the fat trimmed off already. And we're gonna cut the pork shoulder in cubes about one and a half inches in size. As some of you might know, I'm originally from Bavaria, Germany, and Bavaria is pretty much a pork and potato kind of state. So every time Linda makes something that contains pork, I'm always super excited. Especially looking at the cubes that we're cutting here, the marbleization and the deep pink color. What a nice piece of pork. I already know this is gonna taste fantastic. So next we're gonna dice three onions. It seems like a lot of onions for this dish, but I think three pounds of pork and three onions seems like a good ratio. The onions will cook down a lot anyways and lend a lot of flavor to the dish. Dicing an onion is pretty simple. You just cut it in half, then you make a couple horizontal slices, a couple vertical slices. And then when you slice the onion from the top down, you will see that you end up with small uniform pieces. So next we need a green and a red pepper and we want to cut them in thin strips and to do so we cut the ends off first and this way we have access to the core which we're going to cut out as well. And once you remove the core you can lay the pepper flat and then you cut it in thin strips. And then you cut the strips in half because you don't want them too long. And we'll repeat the process with the red pepper as well. So this looks pretty good. The red and the green, totally love it. As you can already see, this recipe used a lot of vegetables. Of course, a lot of protein because of the pork. So it's really a low carb dish, but boy, was it good, I guarantee you. So next we crush one teaspoon of caraway seeds and then we are ready to cook. Next we put three tablespoons of rendered pork fat in a Dutch oven over a medium heat. If you don't have pork fat, you can also use olive oil. Now we can add our pork and we saute it lightly until it's browned on most sides. By the way, for those new here, we are Linda and Stefan. We are a German-American couple. We have three children and we live just outside of Philadelphia. We rarely go to restaurants. We prefer eating at home. And I enjoy sharing Linda's creations on YouTube. So the pork is now nicely brown, so we can add our onions. And we add four tablespoons of quality imported sweet Hungarian paprika, as well as two minced garlic cloves. And we stir it and then we saute it for a couple more minutes. As you can see, the paprika gave the goulash a nice reddish brown color. And now it's time to add our peppers. We stir the peppers in and now we can also use our caraway seeds. For extra flavor, we add one bay leaf. We also add 20 ounces of diced tomato. And now a typical German ingredient, sauerkraut. We add about two cups to it. Sauerkraut has many health benefits, especially great for your digestive tract, but it also packs quite the flavor punch in this recipe. It's gonna taste awesome. Next, we're gonna add two cups of chicken stock. You could use water instead, but I think chicken stock gives it a little bit more flavor. And now we stir it well and let it simmer for one hour or until the pork is tender. To let it simmer, we just cover it up with a lid. And now you have about an hour to watch some TikTok videos or take care of your meal in the meantime. So now we are ready to serve it. Since it is a goulash, you could basically eat it like a soup because unlike a stew, it's not thickened with flour or cornstarch. I personally like eating it with a fresh slice of bread, but if you like to have a more substantial meal, you could certainly serve that over pasta or cooked potatoes. It would also be good with a German style bread dumpling. But today we're just gonna top it off with some sour cream, decorated with a couple slices of peppers 
and sprinkle it with a little bit of parsley. And there you have it, your awesome Hungarian Segedin goulash. If you enjoyed the video and if you want to support a small mom and pop channel, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Until next time, yours truly, Linda and Stefan.